Extraordinary Gentlemen, the movie, starring Sean Connery. Now, the reason I'm reviewing this is because I don't get it. Not the movie. I get the movie. I don't get why so many people thought it was a bad movie. I mean, every review I've seen, everything I've seen about it, says it's a horrible movie. There's only one comment on the back that says a mind-blowing adventure. Saddle Newton, CBS TV. That's the only compliment I ever heard about League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I really like this film. I, I, I thought it was a good movie. The movie stars Sean Connery as Alan Quartermain. For those of this generation who will probably not know who he is, he was a character in fictional books that had, um, he was a hunter, and he hunted down creatures in Africa, and, you know, stopped, and, uh, you know, he, he didn't just hunt people, he went on, I don't know, I didn't read any of his books, but apparently he was a very, he was a very famous fictional character of his, of the, of back in the book time. Um, and he is played by Sean Connery, of course. He's our main character of the story. He is asked by this guy to join this group called the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen to stop a world war that is caused by this guy called... What was his name? What was his name? I think it was the... Yeah, it's the Phantom. Phantom with an F, though. Um, so he's trying to stop this guy who's... This guy's called the Phantom, who is trying to start a world war, basically. And and so, uh, basically what the Phantom's doing is he is attacking certain parts in the world. He attacks the, the Bank of England and has all of his men dress like Germans. Then he attacks Germany and has all of his men speak English and pretend to be British, sort of things. You know, so everyone thinks they're getting attacked by the other person. So the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen is summoned to stop them. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen includes, uh, I think her name's Nina, and she's a vampire. She was one of the people with Van Helsing that stopped the uh, Dracula. Um, Jacqueline Hyde, and, or Dr. Jekyll, uh, Captain Nemo. The Invisible Man, The Immortal Man, and Tom Sawyer. So these are all f fairly famous characters in books, right? So, um, I really like this movie. Like, uh, my favorite character in the movie is The Invisible Man, mostly because he's a comic relief, and he has a really nice accent. You know, he kind of talks like this. And he walks around, and of course, since he's invisible, um... But he's naked when he's in Like, in movies and stuff, whenever someone's invisible, so are their clothes, right? But no, he's naked. He's walking around naked. And when he puts on a jacket, you can see his jacket. And you can see his, his shades. But you can't see him, right? So when he wants to kind of be seen, he puts makeup on his face. White makeup. So he can be seen. You can tell when there's CGI for, to make him look invisible. And when he's just a guy wearing white face. But it's fine. I really like it. I really like the guy who played him. Um, the way they did Jackal and Hyde was really good. Especially when they had... They, they, I think they really captured Jack, Dr. Jackal's, like, obsessive personality. Where he's, like, he's almost like an addict where he doesn't want to do it. But he can hear Dr., uh, Mr. Hyde tell him, Come on, take, take the drink. Take the formula. Uh, the Immortal Man, he's kind of a sway this character, and you know, he's immortal, so you shoot him, then 
The way he kind of heals up is really interesting. He's like, it's almost like ashes and all the stuff that's in him, all the bullets in him will turn to ash. It's a really nice special effects. See, the way I judge movies, if it's good or bad, is by a few things. Number one is acting. Is the acting good? Or, at the very least, is it not bad? So if a movie doesn't have bad acting, that, then, then that, that's one thing that makes it not bad. Another thing that I think is story. Story is the main plot. Does the story make sense? Does it keep you entertained? Does it keep you, you know, moving through it and keeps you caught up in it? If it's that's true too, it's a good movie. Next thing I is effects. And I don't mean just special effects. I mean effects in general. Makeup, costuming, everything. You know, backgrounds, the effects of the film. Do they make sense? Do they have a good feel to it, a good mood to it? If that's true too, then it's not a bad movie. All those go true with this. The acting is not bad. Hey, with Sean Connery, how can you get bad acting? Um, the, the, I mean, the story is really good. Uh, I would say I didn't see a certain part coming, but my cousin told me about it beforehand. Um, uh, and then the effects are good. Like, the shots of Venice are good. The, the chase scenes. Um, the, the Nautilus, the big submarine. It's like a battleship that can go underwater, and it's cool. The settings are nice. And everything, it, it makes pretty well all sense in my book. I don't get why people don't like it. It's a good movie. It's a really good movie. It's true, it's not on my top 10 superhero list. But I could say that this is a number 11. I could say that. But, I mean, like, why did people hate it? I don't get it. It's just, it was so good. It was a really good movie, and I just will not understand why people did not like it. It is a really underrated movie. Really underrated. I would, if you haven't seen this, give it at least a rental. If you don't like it, well, tell me. But give this at least a rental, and you'll see what I mean. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Honestly, it's, it's, it's just good. It's a really underrated movie. Check it out. I haven't read any of the comics or anything like that. I kind of want to. Uh, because, you know, in the com like, I think this, can't, the, the comics are supposed to be really good. I haven't read any, as I just said. But I, I kind of, I, I'm repeating myself. I nearly just said, but I kind of want to. Anyway, that's basically all I have to say, I guess. Um, yeah. So remember, I'm Lazy99. If I don't like it, it's not worth it. Check you all later. Bye. Oh, wait, there's one more thing I want to say. Um, this is a spoiler, though. So the video is basically over if you haven't seen the movie. But if you have, continue on. And go. All right, uh, the villain's plot. Mm, wasn't that... It, like... His plot was to make everyone have a world war, then profit off of all the war profiteering. You know, he has all of these things, and he can sell them and be a rich man. Well, he's already made the ships, right? He's made all of these things that must have cost him millions of dollars. And it's a humongous army he's got. I think it would have been better if he actually wanted to take over the world. I know that sounds a little silly, but he had the technology and the stuff to do it. Why not? He gets a couple of countries on his side. Booyah, you get to take over the world. And that's all I'm talking about. Till later. Bye. Some heroic